Okay, so this is the second video uh, in the Miro tutorial. And I just wanted to show you a few more navigation things. You can select a bunch of stuff and deal with it all at once, such as moving it around. So you're going to um, uh, shift click to do that. So you hold down the shift key and click the mouse button and you can select a bunch of stuff. And you'll see it highlight as you select it. This is pretty common in applications. You might have seen this before. Um, just like with selecting one object, you get all these extra artifacts, such as you know, resizing these corners. You get an extra menu. Although I won't explain anything on any of the menus in this video, I think they're a lot of them are self-explanatory and they're good to play around with. So just play around with them. Right clicking is the other thing that I wanted to mention. A lot of the things that you would like to do, such as changing the order in which things are presented, so something you want to be on top of another, or copying things, those are all uh, accessed by right clicking on an object. So those are two things you have to try and just play around with, and I think you'll find useful. Um, and then finally, um, double clicking on an object allows you to edit, type in it. So now you've got normal editing tools here. You know, you can change fonts and what have you. Um, add links, things like that. That's fairly important. And that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. So again, we have holding down the shift key, holding in your left mouse button, and then dragging the mouse all at the same time allows you to select multiple objects, accesses new menus and UI artifacts, right clicking accesses a new menu. Those are ways that you can do things or find most of the things that you can do to objects and double clicking. Um, that's pretty much it.